What's up everybody, this is Danny, and today I'm gonna do sort of a mini smart home tour, and the full-blown ultimate smart home tour is coming very soon. I just need to add a few things to it to make it more epic, so make sure you stay tuned for that. But what I wanna do today is show you the smart home products that I actually use every single day because I've gotten a lot of questions about it because there's a lot of smart home products out there, and sometimes they just don't fit the home. So what I'm gonna do is show you the stuff that I actually use, and let's not waste any time Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I wanna show you is my robot vacuum of choice. And I partnered with Roborock to show you how this fits in to my lifestyle when it comes to smart home. And I absolutely love this thing. I did a full video on this because I love it so much. I used to be a Roomba user, but this thing is half the price of the 980 and it does a lot more. So this model by Roborock is the S5. I've been using this for about two months now. And what I love about it is number one, it has a huge dustbin and it's so easily accessible from the front. And it told me, so it's got voice commands, which is really cool. And what I love- Install. All right. And what I love is that it also has a wet mop option on the bottom. It's really, really easy to put on. And if you look at the sensor right here, this is a laser sensor. So it acts a little bit different than some of the other robot vacuums. What it does is it kind of scopes out the whole area first when it first cleans your house or if it goes to a new room and it maps out the area first so it can get a more accurate clean. And it has big wheels on the bottom so it can transition between tile floors and carpeting and rugs. I've had no problems with that whatsoever. And it's one of the quietest robot vacuums that I've used my 980 used to literally wake up my kids at night, but this thing, whisper quiet, I mean, it's so great when it cleans. The laser sensor and all of the other sensors on here, that's probably one of the best things because it gives you that accurate clean. And what I want to do is I want to test the cliff sensors on here because if it's on stairs, it's not going to come off, but check out this table. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start this and we're going to see if it falls off. Check this out. I got to admit, I'm a little bit nervous. I told you these sensors are legit. The app is also where it's at. You can see that it mapped out the entire table right here and it's cleaning and you can control it directly through here. You can dock it, you can make it go clean. You can also do a zone cleanup for certain areas if you want to, if they make an extra mess, especially my kids because they make tons of messes. And what it does is it keeps maps in here so you can go to the cleaning history and it'll show you the different cleaning history. So I did a full clean last night. You can see that it mapped out my entire downstairs and it did a great job. So if you're interested in picking one of these up, make sure you hit the link down below and also watch my full video. I'll also leave that linked, but this is one of the best smart home vacuums that you can get for the money right now. So when it comes to security in the house, I decided to go with the Nest ecosystem. And there are cheaper ecosystems out there like Ring that kind of do the same thing. So if you wanna check that out, then I just did a video on that. I'll leave that linked. But the reason I went with Nest is because of the integration with the Nest ecosystem. So I have a Nest thermostat upstairs. I have Nest Protect everywhere for my smoke alarms. I get to see everything in one app, which is really, really great. And when it comes to the indoor and outdoor cameras, I use the Nest Cam IQs because it takes a 4K image and it compresses it to 1080p. So it is one of the best cleanest images when it comes to security. And I love the 24 seven video recording so I can go back at any time. It's kind of like looking at a time lapse. So it's continually recording. One of the first things that anybody should get for a smart home is a video doorbell. And that's another reason I went with Nest. So what I'm using is the Nest Hello doorbell. And what I like about this is the wide field of view that you get from here. So just like any other video doorbell, but you do get 24 seven recording on the doorbell too, which is really good. And it does have facial recognition, just like all the other cameras, if you have Nest Aware. So I like that as well. Now, there is one thing that I did notice on here after my initial review period is that the cooldown time on this is about 15 minutes. So that could be a problem. And there is a slight delay. I'm getting about a four to five second delay in when somebody actually hits the doorbell. So that could be a problem for some. I think the ring doorbell I had earlier was a little bit faster than that. So those are the kind of the things that I've seen uh, on a day-to-day -day basis after using this probably for about four or five months now. But I still really like this, even though it does have those issues. I hope Nest fixes those issues really soon. But I do like the image quality that comes off of this, especially with the HDR. And all of that also ties in with my Yale door lock. This is also all connected to my Nest Secure 
security system as well. So all this is combining together to give me everything in one app feed and everything kind of talks to each other, which I really like about the ecosystem. So let me know what ecosystem that you're using to secure your home. I almost forgot to mention that if you do buy the Nest Cam IQ, it does have Google Assistant built in, which is nice. So you don't have to buy a Google Home. So even though they're a little pricey, totally worth it because it's like a two in one combo. So let's go over here and take a look at some of the new TV choices that I have. A lot of people have been asking for a budget TV coverage, so that's coming soon, but this is the Hisense H9E Plus, and this is a 55 inch 4K HDR TV for less than 600 bucks, which is pretty insane. And this has Google Assistant built in right into the remote. So that's really nice. And it can be controlled by Alexa devices as well. So all the lighting that I have in the house, the kitchen, the living room, all of that is controlled by Lifex. And what I like about Lifex bulbs is you don't have to have a hub. Now, sometimes I have do have to admit that they do have some connection issues. So with Hue, if you're into Philips Hue, it, does, it is a little bit more consistent, I would say. But, you know, I really like the brightness of these bulbs. I think the bulbs are like, what, 1100 lumens or something? They're super bright. So, and you can control them by voice, which I do all the time, which I do every day. Alexa, turn living room lights to cool white. You can change the color temperature too, which is great. So you have a full range of tons of colors you can use on Lifex lights. I love the way that the Lifex Z strips look on consoles on this BDI corridor. It looks really cool. So I like that too. So a lot of people ask me about that. I've done that in other videos before. This TV right here is the LG OLED 2017 model E7. I still have this. I'm hoping to get the new one very soon. Please LG. But I really like the sound bar that's built into here. But just to get some extra sound, I do have the Sonos Playbase right here. And that also has Amazon Alexa built in. So this house is pretty much owned by Amazon. When you have a lot of smart home devices connected on one network, you definitely need a good router and some type of mesh networking system because upstairs is also full of smart home stuff. And the one that I use is Amplify HD. I know this looks a little bit odd, but these are little wall units that you put in. These are the extenders and I love that. And Amplify HD is the only one that's actually worked for me. The other ones have worked well, but the consistent speed of Amplify HD and the ease of use and the app, I really like Amplify HD. So if you're looking for a good mesh networking device or system for a smart home, I really recommend Amplify HD. I just love the interface. It gets constant updates. I probably get a router update at least every two weeks. So that's when you know you have a good router when it constantly gets updated. Controlling by voice is cool when it comes to smart lighting, but sometimes you just wanna hit a physical switch, right? Because it's very satisfying when you just hit a physical switch. This is the noon system. I've been using this now for probably about six months or so. It was early in the year that I did a full video on this. And this has got a ton of updates since. It's gotten Google Assistant support, Amazon Alexa support, schedules, and a ton of other features. So when it first came out, it wasn't fully baked, but now it's actually worth buying. So you can look into this, but I really like the design of this. I like the OLED display. So what you can do is for big rooms like this, all of these lights are connected over here. So with just one switch, I can turn them all off or I can go through different scenes. That's the bright scene where it turns everything on. I'm gonna show you a couple more things and we'll end it out in the kitchen. This is something that I use every single day. This is the simple human sensor can with voice command. Check this out. Open can. That is amazing. If you wanna just keep it simple though, you got a sensor right there as well. The last thing I wanna show you is the Amazon Echo Show. I use this every day because my entire smart home is connected with Amazon Alexa. Now you can use whatever voice assistant that you want. I even have some HomePods around here and some Google Assistant devices, but that's just my voice assistant of choice. It's really easy. They're all equally as powerful, but I love this one because it has a full display so you can see what's going on. So let's say that I wanna check what's happening at my front door. I can say, Alexa, show me the front door. Okay. So that's gonna connect to my Nest Hello and it's gonna show me who's at the front door. So that's pretty awesome. And I just got this in, the Anki Vector. This is gonna be the smart home robot. So I'm working on this next, so make sure you stay tuned for that. I'm really excited about this thing. But let me know what smart home products that you're using in your house. This is the stuff that I use every single day, stuff that I can't live without. So let me know. I'm very interested to see what you guys use. So if you like these type of videos, make sure you give this a thumbs up and subscribe for a lot more smart home stuff. And I will see you guys in the next one. Let's do this, Vector.